Hello viewers, today I'm going to share a bit of information that isn't very widely available. Um, I can't find any videos on YouTube about how to do this. So today I'm going to show you how to turn any aero engine. Um, this one's an SC52 four stroke, which I've done, um, well, I'm in the process of doing an assembly video. Firstly, um, don't attempt this unless you know you know what you're doing. Pretty much, you do need to chop the crank. I'll get the one I've just built, which is here. Now there's a considerable difference in the length of the crank. Uh, you, you have to chop around an inch off to make this work. Now you need an engine cut the crank you need one eighth scale um, flywheel for a ground vehicle you need a clutch bar you need a pilot nut and then your bearings for your clutch wheel um, and your clutch shoes Okay, so first thing you want to do is put your prop driver on your plane, like so, and then your flywheel. It will just fit in the groove, and it has got a collar in, but it's stuck. So put your flywheel on, take your pilot nut, screw that onto the crank. Right, now that's done. I'm not going to show you how to install clutch shoes because they are a pain in the ass. But if you're watching this video, you probably already know how to do that. So, you're going to need a spacer. Maybe, it depends what clutch bell you're using, but I do need a spacer. And then the first clutch bell bearing. Clutch bell. Clutch bell bearing. And then a washer and a bolt to stop it all coming off. Well, the clutch bell anyway. And there you go, that's it. That is literally it. You do have to make sure that pilot nut is really tight so the flywheel doesn't slip on the prop driver. You could drill into the um, prop driver, put two dowels in, and then drill into the flywheel so the dowels meet up, but you might unbalance it. But as far as it goes, that's it. If that, if that engine is complete, um, you could fit it into a 1 8 um, scale truck with a modified engine mount because it won't be a direct fit, the crankcase is wider. Um, you could do with using a bigger flywheel so when it's in the model it'll stick out just underneath and you can stick it on a bump start and you're away. Um, four stroke engines like this they do run hot and they need airflow. Usually there's a big propeller um, so you do want to hook up a, a fan or two inside your model just to make sure it's Get sufficient air. So that's it. That's all there is to it. Thanks for watching.